different worlds where I grew up in. <laughs> but I had a great church that um, also encouraged me to explore and look elsewhere to find a church home and family wherever I went. And when I moved to D.C. in 06, I became involved in another church down the road. Um, but when I moved back in 2010, I continued to search for my, my family. And uh, it took me a little bit. It takes some time because sometimes you really want to make sure the ones you choose are the, the ones you feel the most comfortable with. And so 2018, I chose um, GLC to be my family. And so ever since then, I have became more and more involved. For many years, I would spend the time of just coming in, taking in the sermon, and leaving. Um, last year, I decided to get a little bit more involved, and it involved um, from joining the choir, which is, I always like to say, small but mighty, and we're looking for more. <laughs> <laughs> um, but also helped with the gardening crew. Um, I'm a farm girl, so anything to get my hands in the dirt is great, and see that growth and opportunity. So I really encourage you because I have found over the last year my faith has grown even stronger and it's become um, stronger in part because of my service beyond the pew. And I think there are so many opportunities and ways you can contribute with your various talents that I would love for you to all think about how else you can help grow your faith in working with this family. We have a lot of great things that are being done um, that we can see. <laughs> And some things you don't see that happen during our work days. But um, work days are kind of fun. You're like, oh, that sounds awful. Not at all. Um, again, it's you come and you find an area where you can excel at, from whether it's organizing to fixing things. Um, and, and it's a great time to expand on that fellowship opportunity. And that's where I think you also discover the history of this place. And you feel a bit more connected to the building and the desire to help this building grow, rebirth. We're talking about how we um, are not going to stay in the world of mini mimeographs. <laughs> Let's uh, yeah. help expand that too with this church and then think about that. So I know we all got a campaign packet in the mail, or if you didn't, I believe there's some in the back too. Um, so not only think about how you can contribute with your time and your energy to help grow that faith and help grow this church, but also, um, come next Sunday, what you can consider for giving um, in a pledge. Um, I know I need to sit down and really think hard about that, um, but it is something that I think is extremely important. I've seen amazing growth in this church um, in the last year and a half, and I think there's great things to come. So let's do our best to come together and see how we can do it um, as a collective family. Thank you. Thank you.